All right, today let's go through one of the exciting new things with coming up with Betaflight 4.6. It is called Crash Flip Protection or Crash Flip uh, Settings. It basically controls if you have a racing drone or just any drone and you put it into turtle mode or flip over after crash, how quickly your drone will flip over so it doesn't do multiple flips. So let's look first look at the issue and then we'll look at how Crash Flip, uh, what I'm calling Crash Flip Protection, will um, make that better, make it easier to handle, make it quicker so you can just kind of flip over and take off right away. You don't have to like arm, rearm, all this other jazz, and it won't like let it flip over multiple times. It's pretty cool. So let's check it out. Okay, so first checking out the default behavior. First, of course, if I'm flipped over like this, you see, first I have to put it in the turtle mode, turtle mode. and then I have to arm the craft, and that's all the same. So now I'm in the flip over after crash mode. Uh, again, this is the same as that before. If you crash, you have to put it in the turtle mode and then arm. But then with the, de the default behavior, you can get into scenarios where you kind of overdo it. And here I'll just uh, yeah. see how it kind of, I didn't intend to overdo it. Oh, there I go, I got it right. So that first time I went too far, uh, a little much, too much juice, and it flipped over a couple times and I had to do it again. Then after this, of course, the other thing I have to do is disarm, flip it out of turtle mode, then I can rearm, and then I can go ahead and take off after that point in time. Now with the same scenario here with crash flip enabled, uh, if I flip over, I first of course have to put it into turtle mode. I then have to arm. But here, from here on, this is where it's going to be a little different. Now it's going to rest how fast. So I can just peg to the right and it will automatically control. You can see it didn't go any farther than uh, what it needed to to flip over. Let's just check that out again. So just watch the behavior on my sticks here. I can just push my stick to the right and hold it. See how that's totally different? So let's do that one more time. Just watch the sticks here and watch the craft. It kind of checks itself. And I can just hold it over and then once it flips over it, it knows. And then after this point, the other thing that's a little different, and I'm gonna just turn this here so I don't fly into the door for some odd reason. I do not have to arm and disarm anymore. Now I just take it out of turtle mode and you can see it automatically armed and I can go ahead and take off. Engines. So how do you get this cool new feature? Well, it's simple as flashing up Betaflight 4.6. And when you are looking at flashing over your firmware, there's two different behaviors that you'll get. Uh, if you just do it by default and flash to Betaflight 4.6, then Crash Flip will not be enabled by default. But if you come over to here in this options and then go down to this Race Pro and add that as an option, Crash Flip will be enabled by default. So Crash Flip is in there in either way. It's just, is it enabled or disabled depending on uh, if you have Ray, uh, Race Pro uh, as an, a selection option. If you're not familiar with Race Pro, Race Pro loads a bunch of different settings and defaults and, and other pieces of the firmware into your flight controller when you're flashing. So definitely check it out. It adds RPM limiter, some quick OSD menus, RC stats, pre-arm, uh, spec screen, and some, uh, as we talked about here, just some default changes there as well. So essentially from my take is if you're racing, you should probably just load Race Pro. It just for the point that your defaults will be a little bit, you know, more honed in uh, for a racing craft. And once you do have the firmware flashed over, you go into the CLI and to access these settings, we type in get crash flip. And then you can see here in this one, I have crash flip is enabled because uh, I have the race pro set as a, a default and that's the default option or a race pro set as a build option. So and then it sets this uh, to 30, which is the default option. If I do not have Race Pro uh, set as a build option, this would still be here. It just, this would be set to zero. And likewise, if you wanted to disable this feature, uh, you can just, in any, either case, you can just go ahead and copy this, uh, hit copy, type in set, and put that in there and set that to zero, then hit enter, and then you'd hit type in save and hit enter again. And then that would go ahead and uh, disable the, the feature. The amount of flip, this flip rate that's there, this 30, that's uh, 300 degrees per second. So if you want it to flip over faster, you can increase that to whichever, you know, uh, you can keep increasing it. Just, it's basically how fast or how 
uh, quick it's going to flip over. So you can play with that. You can increase it beyond 360 degrees per second uh, and so on and so forth. This uh, crash flip motor percent, that's been in beta flight, honestly, for a while. That has deals with spinning up the motors in the opposite direction to help uh, push the one side of the craft down. If you know, Instead of just lifting from one side, it's gonna push down on this side and lift from the other side as well. That's really helpful for whoops a lot. So if you're doing racing whoops or just whoops in general, and you're having trouble getting them to flip over, increase this to 50% and that will help it uh, get those flipped over. So um, and conversely, uh, if you're having a craft that is having trouble flipping over, you may want to set this crash flip to zero and then increase this crash flip motor percent to like 50% generally is the rule of thumb. You can, you can play with it, but start at 50%. Now, if Betaflight 4.6, since it's not in stable release just yet, is not your jam, there is a variant of this in Betaflight in the maintenance release, Betaflight 4.5.2, uh, which is stable release. And you can see here, it's it's not the exact same thing because you have this crash flip expo, and the default is 35% if you have the Race Pro uh, build option selected. And um, I haven't tested it, so you can check that out. I'm not sure if it arrests it, you know, and it detects when it's flipping over, but it is there uh, if if you wanted to, to to take a look at that. And then obviously this crash flip motor percent has been there for a long while. Finally, in either case, you're gonna wanna have your accelerometer enabled for this to work really well and give you that option that it detects when it has flipped over and disengages the motors. It needs the accelerometer to do that. You also, the accelerometer when that's enabled will give you the little arrow that you can have in your OSD that will tell you which direction you should be pointing your stick uh, to, to uh, do your flip over. And to have that show up, that is right here, this flip after crash arrow. You can see this little arrow right here that uh, I can see it right there that will come up in when you enable. And of course, that direction is based off if, if the quads kind of like lean into one side to just give it, you know, instead of going the other direction, I guess technically you can go either direction, but it's it's giving you a heads up like, hey, you're kind of leaning more this way. Just flip the rest of the way over that way. And if you're completely new to turtle mode or flip over after crash, it is a mode that you would have to enable, put it on an aux switch, and then, uh, yeah, you flip that in. You'd have to, like I said, disarm, uh, flip it into that aux mode, uh, rearm, and then do the flip. Now, if beta 4.6, then you just have to disable the aux mode that has the flip over after crash on it. You would be armed already, and then you could go ahead and take right off. And if you are out in the field and want to access it by the OSD, you can see here I do have some of the race pro settings uh, or the race pro build option here and that's why i have these quick access to this but you'd go into the main menu or if you would just not have race pro build option selected then you'd be right here at the at the beginning uh, and then i can go into miscellaneous and then you can see my crash flip rate so i can enable it or disable it right through here obviously i set this to zero that would turn it off altogether, or i can increase that to uh, a higher rate if I if I desired, uh, and then you'd back it up, and then you'd hit go here, and you'd hit uh, save and reboot, or um, yeah, you'd hit save and reboot to save that new setting. And finally, big thanks to Chris Thompson, CTC Snooze, for adding this feature. I will link to this PR, and you can check that out. He uh, made this uh, last year, September-ish time frame. And uh, that you can go check out all the details. He always does a great job of providing a full write-up of what's going on with the feature. So go ahead and check that out. All right, as always, don't hesitate to drop any questions down below. If you found that pretty cool, make sure you are subscribed to check out some of the other new features I'm going to go over that are coming up in Betaflight 4.6. Thanks, everybody. Hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next one.